um, a, a father for example ana defy mtoi wake and then ana mpea sweetie so you see for a kid ana learn that That's by the way okay. eh, this is a good thing because they are learning yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Una, una, wanna relate uh, defilement with uh, reward with reward exactly yeah. Yeah. Sasa jimo. Mboza na. Mbofete. Mbaya sana. So, so tell us where you from? What do you do? James Mungai is my name. Mm. I am a program officer at mm. Gender Violence Recovery Center. A mm. uh, program officer just simply means I deal with prevention and advocacy. Oh. I like to break it down. Anything to make sure that a person does not experience gender based violence. Mm. Because in in GBC we have both the prevention and we have the management side. Mm. So management focuses on the violence has already happened. So what do you do after? How do you ensure that they get the necessary treatment? How do you ensure that they are uh, rehabilitated back to the community? So for mm-hmm. us this uh, the department I work for focuses on everything you do before. Oh before. How do you ensure that it doesn't get there? What so do do in in anticipation. No, not anticipation as such. We want for it to be prevented. Like want us to be aware. Exactly. This is what that it is there. Yeah. This other so are there people who come to talk to you? Th- they are thinking that it might happen. So based on the department that I'm in, mm. we, I do not necessarily interact with them. Oh. What I do I'm the one who goes. Some oh, yeah, oh yeah, you oh yeah, to create mm. awareness in mm. oh. the community just to let them know that this is happening mm-hmm. that it is wrong because yeah, kuna ile yeah. normalization of violence and that mm. It needs to stop, and that there is a um, role that everyone has to play. That see, I see a government, see a case, see a police, see a doctor, see a copy. Yeah, security starts with you. Even though you don't say much. So, so, my gender-based violence. How does it affect you mentally? Nezata kakuanza na how it affects the most vulnerable population. Okay. And the one that I'd like to focus on is what we, because now yeah, children, are, yeah. children are the one now. Who grew up to be adults mm. who are actually either perpetrators or survivors of GPV. Yeah. yeah. So um, one of the major ways, one of the major things that happens mm. uh, when someone experiences GPV is that they um, experience trauma. Mm-hmm. Trauma is just simply um, an emotional response to something that is negative, an experience, yeah. a negative mm-hmm. experience. Mm-hmm. Could be as simple as a heartbreak, all the way to as traumatic as the l- loss of a loved one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So um, GBV is one of the things that triggers your reaction. Mm-hmm. Uh, you're disrupted mm-hmm. from your normal life, yeah. the way mm-hmm. you have uh, been dealing with the stress mm-hmm. in a quad disrupted because mm-hmm. there's a traumatic experience that has happened. Mm-hmm. Okay. So in a, in a disrupting in a interrupting a lot of how you're able to deal with things, how you interact with other people, your relationship with uh, the people that you care about, mm-hmm. your work, kama uh, mm-hmm. the the way you the trust that you have with other people. Mm-hmm. So um kwa watui, mm-hmm. the main thing in a kuangani um, there is a disconnection between what is uh, considered as okay cuz unajua mtu huyu hapo ndio ana mingi what is good yeah. what is wrong mm-hmm. so yeye time ukipata um, a, a father for example ana defy mtu wake and then anam, anampea sweetie so you see for a kid ana learn that by the way this is a good thing cuz they are learning Pole ni menda dips mapema it's okay well it's not okay but anyway but, but yeah, continue yeah. Wanna, yeah. Wanna, wanna, wanna relate uh, defilement with uh, reward with reward exactly mm. yeah. and when you do that you mm. learn that this is a good thing you mm. una, una end up kupata um, guys or ladies who um, are are addicted to sex because they feel that this is the only way mm. can actually mm. experience love Mm. So um yeah that's one of the effects that it has. You know sometimes you there are people who say they are addicted to sex. Yeah. Maybe they think like it's a norm but kumbe there is like an underlying issue that something that you're saying am what's the difference like when Some. will you know like hey this addiction is actually cuz I was born like that am my body just reacts that way or it's because of maybe some trauma that I happened to have Let me, let me put it this way. Mm-hmm. Um, not all people who are addicted to sex have experienced GBV. Mm. But there's a high possibility of people or guys or ladies who have experienced GBV mm. actually uh, having um, we'll call it a sexual dysfunction because there's mm. an extreme 
action mm-hmm. it's being need for for sex that mm-hmm. uh, people who have uh, addiction mm-hmm. to sex have yeah. so there is a possibility so mm-hmm. you cannot necessarily relate mm-hmm. have a direct link but mm-hmm. some it's one of the side mm-hmm. effects mm-hmm. of that so having a cause again we're focusing mainly on sexual abuse yeah mm-hmm. so having uh, a very un unnatural experience or a natural relationship with sex mm. could be as a result of the first encounter that you had with sex as a kid the f- experience yake ya kwanza ilikuwa um kudefiliwa as a kid the first sexual experience was um being gang raped so the way they respond to that the way they grow up from that <laughs> i apologize to not to not ngeanga mm-hmm. vitu venye ziko because mm-hmm. uh, we no like is there like an an instance where you had or seen a kid who's gone through that yeah, unfortunately yes mm. Bef- before i was in the department that i was in i was actually a counselor we usually call them case managers mm. oh god so um <laughs> for like uh, six months i was uh, dealing directly with survivors <sighs> near the violence i remember one time where um i was uh, i was hunting the night shift um sometimes you usually want to give support even during yeah. the night so a kid was brought in they mm. were um allow me to be a little bit explicit mm. it and it had to me the medical term if in the equal to be exactly I'm not prepare for impact mm-hmm. <laughs> um they were peri penile annual and penile vaginally penetrated yani while you were raped both uh, they were defiled both mm. through the anus and through the vagina and this was done how old was this kid um around 6 age What? unfortunately and it was done by a relative who was left uh, in the care of uh so the mom came uh, with Toto and Alia the, the relative visit around kuja it got to a point where um the kid actually needed a constructive surgery because it was that bad um so unfortunately wait so the mom left the kid with a relative yeah with a, a very nice according to the history a very kind very um open uh was it around 18 19 year old like yeah you just it's it's not the first time that uh, he had the, the mom alikuwa meacha umtoina the relative was the child was it a boy or a girl a girl oh yeah but china yeah, yeah, girl, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. so what so, yeah. was he caught like whom to what, what are the punishment for such people so according to the law um anyone who defiles a kid under the age of 11 mm-hmm. according to the sexual offenses act mm-hmm. um is life imprisonment once okay. you're found guilty it is life unfortunately we don't have the death sentence uku it was ah, abolished like, it should be like life imprisonment and torture yeah. Yeah, and, and, tungependa sana it's like the woman um You, you've had this, there was a story where a, a woman actually killed uh, a man who had sexually um, assaulted her daughter so it's been doing rounds uh, a while back so no, I didn't hear. some 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 may feel that that is justice uh, unfortunately according to the law that is no j- no is death is too easy for this person yeah. like don't just kill them make them suffer like Oh, that, that's bad. It is, it is extreme. Hmm. So, um I'm trying to imagine because because that happened um 3 or uh, around around 2020. So having uh this child growing up, there are various ways on how they can uh, they will have to deal with that experience. Some decide to ignore it, which unfortunately uh, it translates into very unpleasant uh, ways of coping. Uh, relationship that they have with men the kind of um aggression and anger withdrawal their self esteem is really low you find ladies uh, and again this is this is not the only reason why um, whatever i'm about to say happens mm-hmm. but you'd find that some ladies who have who experience very low self esteem and they try as much as they can put a lot of effort to actually get approval from the guys that they um want to get intimate with mm-hmm. and they are very or like a better word loose mm-hmm. maybe because of the way uh they experienced mm-hmm. uh their first exp- exposure to gender based violence and mm-hmm. ideally uh, it's it's unfortunate because that's yeah. the coping mechanism another age group that I, also, I would also want to talk about are the very very old 
Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah it's true. Because they're, they're people, they're very vulnerable. They're people who go and do stuff to them. Or even like oh, maids yeah. who beat them up. And because, you know, you think your grandmother or your mother, like maybe they're um, senile. Yeah, they're not able or, to articulate. Or maybe you say, ah, they, mm, they are a bit slow, so they don't even know. Mm. So, so, yeah. so whenever they see maybe one of them, uh, maybe the people who abuse them you see them that like no they don't want to deal with that person but actually that person uh, is being abused every day yeah well it happens in some it, and well. it is so sad and you only find some bruises and then you're like what happened they say oh no but it's them mm. they do that yeah, it's true, it's true. you think your grandmother or mother is being taken good care of but they're being mm. abused Mm. Ama kama ni wenye wakuchenjua daipa na chenjua daipa kichuna chuno. Yeah, yeah. vidole huko ndani. Eh, na ai ai. It's people are, there, there. Unfortunately, yeah, people are twisted out here. Mm. And, and... kuna kuna hii age group nyingine yenye mtu anaweza jiongelelea. Okay, fine. Also people suffer in different ways. Other people is different to to speak yeah. up and say, you know, actually yeah. this happened to me mm. or this is what is going on. Yeah. But now those ones who cannot speak for themselves, they're very young and the, the, old. Yeah. the old. elderly. Yeah, and even elderly, those yeah. with uh, people, persons living with disability, some yes, are not able to yeah. articulate their yeah. words. Yeah. Yeah. Some, yeah. The, the sure, a really high group is mm-hmm. those who are suffering from mental uh, illnesses. Because yeah. 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 Mm. they will be disregarded. The way they, they respond to mm. a stress is very different from the way we do. So, mm. for example, um, uh, a lady who has who is suffering from men- a mental disorder, yeah. they, are, they are generally aggressive. Yeah. Yes. So, when uh, a guy takes advantage of, of her yeah. and they continue to be aggressive, it uh-huh. can be disregarded. I will not be able to do it. Yeah, you could say that. I'm a, an, but a, a why would anyone silent. want to? It's 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 a it's a question. It is a it is a main question that people ask. What, what? Yeah. You know, they always say there's no market that causes a mad woman. Yeah. yeah. Yes. But yeah. you keep on going going to that market. Mm. One day, I'm telling you, you'll see that mentally ill woman yeah. pregnant. Mm. Would you wonder? How did she get pregnant? <laughs> Who impregnated her? You've never <laughs> seen those kids. No, I've never seen No, and them. it's never yeah. another mad person. Yeah. A very yeah. normal person. Yeah. So how did they even get pregnant? What is wrong with men? No, let's not... Let's, uh, uh, yeah. No, uh-uh. <laughs> no, but it's true. Some men. Some, some men actually... Because um, all those things, there. like... <laughs> I mean... Oh, yeah. <laughs> there's an argument a friend of mine said uh, a mm-hmm. statement mm-hmm. and again it is their, their, that's what they believe the <sighs> manga majimoto inakuesha nini maji chafu bado inakuesha moto oh so, my god <laughs> the idea is it's it's a it's a form of justification of um it was necessarily a terrible meant, one. It's, a, it's, a, yeah, it's a horrible one it's true. Mm-hmm. But unfortunately, that's what they use. Ni ni, ni maji chafu. Maji chafu bado inakuesha moto. moto. So mm. Um, but it is wrong to take advantage because ideally, oh my anyone that you have in sex with has to be able to give consent. For example, a guy, um, anena na pata chile kwa kwa club. Club, yeah. Ame mpata kiu wana anatei. Mm. Wana wanaenda wanaongea mm. wana uh, wana vibe. Mm. The chile na kubali kwa na home na umjama mm. kwa have sex, and they do. Kwa mkasubui, apparently the the uh, the girl is under eighteen. Ah. Akiamua, uh, I'm, I'm sitting and I'm sitting. Hmm. So, I'm going to ask you 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 to the you to ask 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 you to incarceration right now while mm, in prison. Mm-hmm. Unapata ni, ni yo situation. Very mm. many guys are there kwa sababu oh, no. wali kuwa na achile, wali mpata in a situation where it was very clear mm. they, they have they had every reason to mm. it think was that wali kuwa hey, ah, unakunyo ati hey, obviously mm. wali kuwa mm. underage. Mm. Wakienda mto, uh, the, the chile napata ball. Wakienda kuangalia, wanapata ako under 18. Shucks. Akunanga kuangalia. Yo ni ndani. There is, there is no negotiation. Alafu, ebu effects zingine za GBV zile za kukua drug abuse. So, that's one of the coping mechanisms that what I want to hear. As you're trying to escape mm-hmm. the kind of pain that comes with GBV. 
Mm. For example, um, you have experienced gender based violence. There is obviously trauma. You yeah. Know, you're either you're having panic attacks. Mm. You are very un, uh, anxious yeah. around people. Mm. Very yeah. scared of mm. loud noises. Mm. Mm. You're experiencing um, trust issues with people. Yeah. Mm. Since you don't want to actually go somewhere, mm. seek for help and mm. deal with it, you decide um, I will try and dull this. Yeah. Either, yeah. either either drugs or um, or any other form of, of dulling, which is, for example, is alcohol. Because yeah. at the moment when you're drunk, you don't have kiriangis of it. So you decide to do it today. Mm. One yeah. by the way. Yeah. The next one, kikumbuka, watch ani, fungolo, watch ani, and gets to a point of addiction. So that's one of the actually negative effects that oh. GBV has on uh, mental health, because you're forced to yeah. um, actually look for um, mm. coping mechanisms that are unhealthy, mm. yeah. and you find yourself into a deeper hole. So now you're dealing with the trauma which you didn't deal with, mm. and now the addiction. So it becomes double trouble. Others, I think, they become angry and um, just aggressive. Yeah. Ah. And vengeful, yeah, and ve- mm. yeah venge- very, very vengeful. Yeah, uh, vengeful. Yeah. Um, when you look at situations where a, a lady, for example, mm. has been intentionally infect, uh, infected with HIV, and mm. yeah, yeah, ah, I'm a Actually, we had a. Uh, I had. A I mean, Neza Maliza, we want to analyze some things. Maliza, in all manner of evil ways. Mm. How now? I shall compare. Aye, Because unfortunately, there's, there's no way going. I couldn't. Yeah, kuna usham akonayo. Lakini is there a law to please gonorrhea ongeze? So no. Hey, let me add you. Let me top up. Bona vie. Syphilis, where are you? Cha tukuongeze juu. Cuz hakuna kitu kingine unaweza mfanyia tu. Nikumchukia tu. Cuz already Whatever wow. you are, <laughs> the law, um, mm. they talk about how, what are the consequences of infecting someone? Yeah, yeah. Um, mm. Intentionally infecting yes. someone. Mm. That, that could, I'm not sure about the, I'm sure that it is in the penal code, which is, mm-hmm. which guides all the offenses that we have. Mm. But I, I may not be certain on the amount of time. Could mm. be three years. You can years, actually see someone. Yes. yes, you can. Yeah, as long as you can prove, mm. as long as you can prove that you had, yeah. Because again, the law yeah. needs proof. You can prove that you did not have it at this time exactly. You don't have it at this time, then you mm. had sex, and then you had it. You prove that you had. So no, you informed consent. Consent in a come, yeah. Ask it up. Tukianza tunongeve. Oh, mm. I actually also had a question on ter- in terms of your informed consent. Yeah, all right. Yeah. So, uh, you've said if maybe mm. you're in a club. <laughs> 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 In a club, you get drunk, then if you do it, that is wrong, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Boy, child, I'm putting on a day. You know, I'm a too much fair. Then the girl has not come. So who is being harassed? Who is being? Uh, ni, ni tricky question. Um, I'll try and answer it in two ways. Mm-hmm. Tio kwanza ni kama mo naume, mm. hey, bana ina uma. Ina uma juu ume, ume take time. Mm. Mese mo mama na taka kam, ume mm. tumie do, mm. akuja. Mm. Na amekata kam, amepia mm. na reasons zake, mm. wacha nizite excuses, nito ni allow, nizite excuses. Yeah, uh, reasons. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Then, I will, I will answer it now as, as a practitioner in mm-hmm. the space here, gender based violence. Yes. Mm. So one, it should be clear that that cannot be categorized as GBV or any form of harassment. <laughs> because <laughs> unfortunately, mm-hmm. wanaume poleni sana, but mm-hmm. you see, you see harassment. Unless, the other aspect may be, uh, unless uh, it was deception. Ume ongea na ye, ume uh-huh. muambia uh, mm-hmm. sex for cash, mm. ume muambia akuje, obtain. utampea, e, eh, una obtain. Mm. Obtain. Nuka mtumia do, akata mm. akuja. That's, that's mm. fact. That's a way on you easy. Mm. But if it wasn't okay. clear, yeah. that mm. by the way, uh, mm. so and so, unakuja mm. ndiyo tulale na wewe. Mm. Ili kwa implied, so come to Netflix and chill. Mm. You, you can't prove that in court. That <laughs> what you mean, niku Netflix and actually, like, do yeah, other things. Yeah. Sino aneza chukua literally just Netflix or chill yeah. or I cannot come. I yeah. mean, actually, let's go to Guinea. Mm-hmm. Wana enda. Mm-hmm. Now because they had, it wasn't made clear. It was mm-hmm. Netflix. Eh, uh, uh, Netflix chill. and chill. 
And then hey, jamaa anaanza mikono ala? Ha si watu yeah. wapata na Netflix. Eh hey, hey. <laughs> Ah that's a con. <laughs> but they never come here to Netflix in Chile. And you ain't got no Netflix by the way. Netflix. <laughs> so that's bad. Yeah, yeah, Why? It's that's bad. So, bad. so it's mostly the chilling part. Mm-hmm. So uh, <laughs> jamaa ana, anaanza kutaka vipi? Mm. The demo wasn't ready for. Oh, and yeah. But demo anakata, jamaa na jam. Mm. Yeah. Na chukua by force. That becomes drink. Unless it is so I usually try to encourage it, mm. it has to be as clear as possible okay you unataka kama ni kutisha unitisha de muitishe ajue ni anaitishwa ndio kikuja ikuwe by the way ako ready eh this is what you are okay sawa amekuja amefika ako ready a change mind ni sawa okay yeah kuna analogy flani tunatumianga mhm ni tuatie consent mhm ukitengenezea mtu chai mm-hmm. eh umweke hapo uko me take time vizuri umetengenezea mm-hmm. chai ngine fit kama mm-hmm. kivu mm-hmm. eh um, mm-hmm. umlete mm-hmm. akatae mm-hmm. hawezi hautamchukua mdomo umfungue umwambie eh nimetengeneza chai hii chai yote <laughs> kunywa hiki tu yeah. yeah. you do that yeah. Yeah. Um, the same way um, anza kukunywa ifika katika tesame by the way mistake nimetosheka yeah, nimetosheka mm-hmm. hautamwambia by the way nime take time <laughs> Nime take time sana kutengeneza kitu. Lazima umali, umali. The same way it doesn't make sense to do eh, that. Yeah. It doesn't also make sense to force someone to have sex with So how do you so you said you guys have a very rigorous uh program of uh, oh, yeah, yeah. of helping people mm. uh, cope with cope, cope with, with it. Sex, yeah. So you help them with like even drug abuse uh, like post traumatic stress disorder we we yeah. have um, PTSD right yeah in a mm. PTSD yeah. so we have a very um, vibrant yeah. um, psychosocial support um, mm. team yeah we as 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 our core we deal mainly our main focus is on survivors of gender based violence yeah. but we do offer our counselors are skilled enough to offer yeah. private counseling to mm-hmm. anyone who has experienced um, mm. or who want or private counseling, uh, private counseling. Mm. Uh, so any of our branches you can go just request for counseling service and you will be, be directed to one of our counselors mm. but for survivors of gbv mm. um, as part of the treatment and the entire um spectrum of care mm. we have counseling services they mm. can go as long as they can because trauma is ex- is uh so when you say really unique. Th- sorry to cut you short when you say rigorous what does that mean how how frequent should uh, the person be coming to you for counseling it 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 is the standard is mm. usually at least after a um a week a space of a week Okay. every other week every every week like oh, every, every week yeah, or once every yeah. week or oh, once every week okay. if it's if it's intense it could be um as many times as um advised by the yeah. counselor yeah but ideally just the standard wise just uh-huh. allowing for someone to also um mm-hmm. be in the space mm-hmm. of doing it themselves because it's a voluntary process counseling yeah. is a voluntary process yeah. and it's it's very person centered yeah. so they are the yes, ones who need to do more work than the counselor and what's your success rate um every survivor what what we usually mm. do every survivor who comes in mm-hmm. has to go through counseling yeah. and we have a um a very elaborate um full up um oh you do sessions yeah. so good. it's very yeah. free one mm-hmm. it's free for gbv survivors mm-hmm. number two they can come as many times as possible number yeah. three there are other alternatives yeah. for example they, they have one on one counseling there's also support groups there's some oh, who are oh wow mm. um who heal better mm. in yeah. a community yes. so there are uh, yes. support groups mm. so there are very many um platforms or very many areas of doing mm. it and if someone mm. necessarily uh, does not have the ability to come to our offices we have a toll free number yeah they can call to our toll free mm. number and what happens to people who as survivors maybe they were raped some time back yeah. can they still come mm. like it's yes. not recent mm. you have Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah they can they can because because again because um, i guess this is the time people are talking about gbv yes, and tambo yes. people were mm. very shy you know uh, uh, mm. timid they could not talk about it yeah. so someone feels like you know what, i have this stress and i'll need someone to talk to yeah. so can they come is it free yeah, for them it's, it's also still, it's all free uh, yeah. we we welcome them our doors are very very open we are mm. a 24 hour mm-hmm. um facility so mm. yes they can come again our toll free is very open in case yeah. you have any inquiries mm-hmm. um Uh, is it okay if i say it yeah mama ni fadhi ile kitu ya eti hapana ni sandra eh so so feel free to call at uh, 0800 720565 um you could, you'll get any form of counseling that you require mm. any help that you need 0800 720565 all right yeah. okay
Okay, thank, thank you so you. much. We've learned a lot. Okay. It's a pleasure. Mm. And it's mm. very nice. Like, keep on preaching that gospel. However oh. disturbing it was. <laughs> but, um, no, at the beginning, especially. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's why it's so sad. And if mm. someone... I don't know, know someone that is going through that, yeah. Yeah. I can please report them or and someone who is suffering, take them to the right place. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah.